and he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Well, this ball is rifled down that left field line. It wasn't fair by much. You'll see it just to the right of the chalk, and he's going to hustle himself up to second with a hard-hit double. Number 22 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Lloyd McClendon will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. Bob Patterson will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. A look at our line score right there tells the story as the Reds lead this one here in the eighth in front of their home crowd here at Great American Ballpark. Jose Lean will stand in. They've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. A 2-1 offering. Here's a swing and a miss at the hard splitter, even at 2. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Uh, hitter's got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing it. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Bobby Bonilla will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Here now the 2-2. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Barry Larkin will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Barry Bonds will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Slider, oh look out as that one just about took his nose off. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Sharply hit back up the middle, and the tying run is on to start the inning. It's a leadoff single. Only their third hit of the ball game so far. He's got two of them. You know, this offense has pretty much been non-existent this entire ballgame. Andy Van Slyke will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And 
this is fouled back and out of play. Dugout to reclaim his spot on the pine. He's the first out of the inning. <laughs> That's a big strikeout here with that tying run still at first. Now you're basically a ground ball away from getting out of this. Number 12 will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. off for second pitch inside the throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw well I think he's pretty lucky to get in there safely on this play it's a decent jump but I think a good throw might nail him down there instead you see it's wide of the mark off to the shortstop side of the base and he's able to beat that tag to get in safely Short lead from second, now the pitch. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. He was hoping he'd get him to go up the ladder there, but that's going to set up an even more dangerous pitch here on three and one. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. He may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, I'm, that's not going to help things. Number 45 will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Jay Bell will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Well, they let him go there, but he missed it for strike one. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Number two will stride in. Grounded out his last time through. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score.